reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hi guys and welcome to this little fontage of Met Warrior online games that I put together. They're recorded this evening. Uh, there's three wins and one defeat in there, but they're all very good games, and I think uh, they show some of the best of what Met Warrior Online can offer in pub games. Now, if you're not familiar with Met Warrior Online, it's based on the Battletech universe, uh, and there was a series of games that came out many years ago, back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s, which were made at that time, I believe, by Microsoft. And uh, the first online game I ever played was Target a game acquired. of Mech Warrior 2. And that was back in 97, uh, when you had dial-up connections and a ping of 600 milliseconds to some guy who was hosting somewhere in the US was not unusual. So it's uh, a game series that's got a long pedigree and uh, a lot of love and a lot of passion behind it. So Met or Online is uh, the latest version, it's free to play. Each one of these games has got a different mech. Uh, the first one is a Hunchback, which is a medium mech, set to one's a Cataphract, which is a heavy mech. Target. And the last two are Assault mechs, which are, the first one is an Atlas and the second one is a Stalker. Uh, the Stalker is a custom Stalker. If you play the game, it's uh, the Misery, so you can kind of get an idea of what that feels like. As a general rule, the bigger the mech, the more armament it carries and the more armor it carries, but the slower it is and it's much less maneuverable. That's why you see in some of the games I'll end up getting shot from behind by something much smaller, but it's shooting the weak rear armor. Now, I can talk about this game all day, but what I'm going to do is sign off now and leave you to enjoy the games. If you played it or you're thinking of playing, as I mentioned, Red Warrior Online is free to play so you don't need to drop any money on it whatsoever to enjoy it. Uh, although I did buy one of the Founders packs when they first came out last year. New target I've only actually spent in-game money on it literally in the last week or so. So I spent what, nine months or so playing with just the four mechs that you get as a Founder and some of the trial mechs which are open to everybody. The game itself is developing it's got uh, the community pillar or the community warfare which is supposed to be coming out fingers crossed sometime in the world of the near future and what that will do is add uh, a meta game to make water online so at the moment you drop into a game play the game it's finished with the community warfare when that's added you will be fighting for resources or you'll be fighting for planets within uh, of the larger universe and that gives more of a meaning to playing an individual game now i have to say one of my gaming wet dreams if you will is playing this game on one of the larger maps such as alpine with 50 players per side with respawn on because the all of the game types in Metroid Online at the moment are all non respawn. So you die, you finish the game. And I would like to see respawn on if just for some games, just to provide a bit of variety and just so that if you're in there and you die, you have a chance to make more of uh, an impression for your team and to help your team a bit more so that's it i'll leave you in peace enjoy the games please leave me uh, please leave your comments and let me know what you think and uh firefly signing off
detector online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.
Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.
acquired. Warning, incoming missile. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.
Oh. Um. 